Here is our water tower. It's the highest point on the property and we've connected three IBC totes together. And there's a line that runs all the way from basically right next to the house. It's an old hand dug well that we're using a pump to pump water up here. And I'm gonna show you how not only do we pump it up here, but we also have a system to turn the water off so it doesn't overflow. So up there are the IBC totes that I was standing by just a second ago. And down here we have a submersible well pump inside of this old hand dug well. So uh, you can see that black line coming out. That's our line out up to the tanks and there's an electrical line in there. It's a 110 volt submersible well pump and you can see that I have that on a smart switch which talks to the Wi-Fi inside the house. Then this, this smart switch talks to a Yolink device which is a float switch. So we have a long range wireless float switch up here. This will last for two years on a couple of AAA batteries. And then there's a float switch that sticks in there and it has long range radio transmission. It's supposed to be able to communicate up to a quarter mile so it talks back to the home. So when this float switch gets tripped, it turns off the smart switch. Right now the valves to these uh, IBC totes are actually turned off. So this water is being is coming directly from uh, the pump down there. If I turn that pump off, this water will turn off. So I'm gonna test our float switch by pulling the float switch out and I'm going to trigger it that way. We have a little program that's written. It worked perfectly. Uh, if this then that program that shuts off the pump as soon as this is triggered. So that's how we remotely trigger the uh, the pump so that these don't just overflow all the time.